What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Retro Quinn, and today we are back with another NF Journey reaction, man. This one is NF Notepad, and um, if I read correctly, I think y'all told me um, he talked about why he doesn't curse or use swear words in a lot of his uh songs and stuff that he's making. I'm interested to hear that because that's that's pretty much that's a unique thing nowadays. Um because a lot of rappers and just artists in general, they tend to use a lot of swear words, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. NF Notepad. You and I. In the dark room. We've been doing a lot together. And I look back and I just, uh, I appreciate all the times that Glad one. we had together. You know, I remember just going down in my room and you know, Dylan, trying to deal with some things. And you've always been there for that. Hey, was that a picture of his uh, family? Well, you know, like his mom and like sisters and stuff. We had together, you know? I remember just going down in my room and, you know, Dylan, trying to deal with some things. Hey, so I'm assuming that's probably his mom brother sister and him i don't know y'all let me know i do have something that i want to touch on too and you've always been there for that always it's me and you no you would not been best friend okay now before we get into the actual um rap or you know song that he's about to do i like how he came in talking just then um kind of like and I, I see his title notepad so it seemed like it's it's like him talking, you know, to his notepad, like, hey, you've been there when nobody else was. I was able to always come to you, put the pen to the pad, put my thoughts down, get my thoughts out of my head, and you was able to put me in a better space. So I like how he came in with that, you know, that small kind of kind of just a little speech, you know, a little thank you to the notepad. You and I we've been doing a lot together. And I look back and I just uh, I appreciate all the times that we had together. You know? Thank you. I remember just going down in my room and, you know, Dylan trying to deal with some things. And you've always been there for that. Uh, like always. That. Like just me that. and you. You and I been best friends ever since I was a young kid. Everything we did, where's time went? Got a lot of years coming up ahead of us, and ever since we met, I knew we'd get somewhere. But the fact is, I ain't really, I ain't really know when. I don't really know how we either, but I can fit the goosebumps. My skin writes in. I've been waiting for the moment. Yeah. You and I can make it happen. A lot of people thinking we ain't gonna make it rapping. I ain't got a problem with them though. That don't even matter. We ain't looking for the people trying to say that we the baddest. No, I never like that. Came a long way, never did it for the money. We ever make it big, I'ma give it to the family. Looking back now, everything is looking funny. You and I in the room writing. I'll yes, play when the mood strikes us. We don't care if they do like us. Writing songs for the haters, we ain't even got yet. Freestyling, Ooh. somebody turn the mic up. Talking Ooh. Writing songs for the haters that we don't even have yet. Speaking it into existence in a way because, you know, uh, just, just everything right, you know, within this little section right here of, um, you know, first few minutes into the rap. You know, he talking to the notepad, you know, pretty much just thanking the notepad, letting him know like we've been through hard times together. And also when I make it, because he's speaking it in existence, he know he gonna make it. He know he putting in the time, putting in the work and he know it's gonna pay off. So when I make it, I know that I'm gonna have haters, but um, that's something that I gotta, you know, brace myself and just get ready for. I'm about to have haters that ain't even heard my music yet, but I know it's going to reach a broad audience. So the more reach that you have, the more hate that you're going to get too. But I mean, they just come with it. And also, um, you know, he was also talking about how he going to give back to his family and stuff. And I seen that he showed that it looked like that same picture again. But like I said, y'all let me know. Um, is that like, you know, his mom, brother and sister that was in that picture too. Ain't got a problem with them though, that don't even matter We ain't looking for the people trying to say that we the baddest No, I never like liked this. that, came a long way, never did it for the money We ever make it big, I'ma give it to the family Looking back now, everything is looking funny You and I in the room writing, up late when the moon strikes us We don't care if they do like us, 
just writing songs for the haters we ain't even got yet Freestyling, somebody turn the mic up Talking about things we don't really understand Talking about things we don't really comprehend Me and you trying to get it, we ain't quitting to the end Now I'm standing on stage trying to give it to the fans yeah. Yes sir We took that karaoke machine from my room And uh Karaoke <laughs> we, we put it up to the CD player And played the instrumentals And man We come a long way <laughs> a long way. I made a lot of mistakes. You hey, who? <laughs> who remember the old days? That that bring back memories right there, man. Just having the karaoke machine, like you said, holding it up to the radio, just just recording sounds, recording songs. You no, know, um, singing back through the um, <clears throat> excuse me, singing back through the microphone and stuff too, like just playing around, like you rapping and freestyling and stuff. Who remember the old days, man? Y'all comment down below. <laughs> up to the cd player and play the instrumentals and <laughs> man we've come a long way good days a long way i made a lot of mistakes you've been there for the whole thing help me with the drama rapping in the car outside daily we don't care if it's a winter we don't care if it's a summer i remember writing raps with the curse words i just want to hear it seems like everybody does it did it for a while wasn't into all the customs okay. trying to find who i was being everything i was in real life yeah got a lot of anger you he said that he he started um pretty much he started writing raps with curse words but then he realized that he was like everybody else and he didn't want to be like everybody else so he pulled away from the cursing and the swear words and stuff and just took his own route um now i don't so far i've probably i think i reacted to about like six i think six or seven of his songs and um to my knowledge i haven't heard one curse word or one swear word yet um i could be mistaken but i don't think i've heard it yet and that's one thing that that um it, it's a couple of other artists that i react to as well that don't use any swear words and stuff and i like that because it's to me it, it's it, it's like the swear words and curse words it to me it kind of takes away from the music and um i've also heard other people say that um you know like in interviews and stuff they've said like um some people use swear words as like a filler or something to rhyme with because it you know it's a little bit easier so the fact that he's taking the swear words and the curse words out of his music it adds to his lyrical um abilities and his talent level because um it takes it takes that easy gap out and um challenges challenges you a little bit more so i love that man but um if he does have any songs out there with swear words y'all comment down below i'm just interested just to hear them to you know just to see how how they actually sound but um enough without the swear words man definitely a 10 out of 10. i love it in raps with the curse words i just want to hear it seems like everybody does it did it for a while wasn't into all the customs trying to find who i was being everything i was in real life yeah got a lot of anger you know where i'm at put it all over the pages and wrote it in the rap said that we could be amazing if i give us a chance now i'm looking around like yeah look at where we at look yeah. at where we at now we ain't made a chat but they can hear us in the background coming some are gonna hate it some are gonna love it i'ma put it in his hands and let god do the judging yeah, yeah. remember me and you always had you in the backpack took you in the school writing on you like it's nothing like the people in the room see me scribble on the page but they ain't got a clue no they ain't got a clue nah. we at the beginning right. hoping something to you and i can say we made it and we did it you ain't nothing but a notepad tell me who you kidding i'm just running out of space i'll be back in a minute to the page on me you know what's crazy it's is hate. this just started as something that was an escape for us you know and now i look around and there's a lot of people out there going through the same things you know we've been through and now this music we write is actually making an impact it's crazy yes, sir Years later. sir nf real music man I, I definitely enjoyed that one a lot um it is really so much that i can unpack with that one um 
first off the simplicity of the video um that that's one thing that i've always liked with a lot of music videos especially with artists like this that have great storytelling and they have a great message they can simplify the video and allow us to focus a lot more on what they're actually saying as opposed to a lot of the flashing lights and you know like cameras females men money all of that extra stuff in the video but he simplified the video and allowed us to hear the message that he you know wanted to get across to us and um another thing too a lot of artists nowadays don't put the pen to the pad man they with, with the advancement of technology and stuff they're able to just go into the booth and um do what they call is um punching in where they you know they they say something off the top of the head they can change it punch it back in so it, it's almost like they're writing but they're just right there in front of the microphone they can just punch it in to make corrections and stuff there but actually being able to put pen to the pad man i feel like it unlocks a different creative space in your mind and um it allows you to get those deeper messages you know out of your head and in, you know into the music and stuff but hopefully y'all enjoyed that one i definitely enjoyed that one a lot um you know just just getting deeper into the journey learning more about nf and um you know just his backstory and all of that stuff but we're about to keep the journey going probably knock out another couple of videos and um do a couple of other things but hopefully y'all enjoy that one y'all make sure that y'all like comment and subscribe do all of that wonderful stuff stay positive and stay smiling and without further ado this is the bar retro queen i'm out